Good morning guys, welcome back to Budapest. So today is going to be straight to the point, a trade setup. So I want to show you guys a trade on USD CAD. I've been thinking and I want to share this one earlier, but with all these videos and stuff, I had to wait a little bit. Here's the trade setup on the chart. And I want to guide you once again through the process. And you guys kind of like these trades when I go through step by step what happens. And that's what we're going to do right now. As you can see, like the trade didn't perform super well, super fast. So let me go on the weekly chart. And back when I did the whole analysis in the beginning of the week, like all the lines, everything, I noticed a couple of zones, okay? These two zones are top ones. So this one's more clear on the daily chart, the 1.25, less clear here on the weekly chart. This one here is pretty clear on the weekly chart and daily chart, 1.29. Okay, this is a major resistance area where we bounced off in the past. Actually, we bounce here, once again there, and kind of here, we came back here to retest and price is now try to break above this 1.39 but came back down. Okay, so I'm looking at this as a resistance area right here. Now let's go on the daily chart. Well, there's not much to see there, uh, except that it's a little bit more clear. Now we see that this zone here is more important. 1.25 would be a support zone, but that's not the point. Now we got 1.29, okay? I flagged this pair earlier in the week when I saw this, that we were approaching this level. Once again, I was looking for a setup on lower time frame. Okay, so I went on the one hour chart. Now, here's something interesting because I actually missed a trade on this pair first. There was a very good setup, okay, right here. So break of the puncture band, strong off engulfing candle, coming back within. And so I would enter it below the low. I actually place this in my journal. Let me pop, pop this up. So if you to look at my journal in this section right here with these missed trades, Right, USD CAD is here, short USD CAD at 1.39. I note them down because I want to make sure that I found the reason why I missed the trade. And this one, I think was just too early or something. But I still want to track what would happen if, okay? Because this can be probably automated at some point with an algo or whatever, so that's important. So that's the trade, okay? It's starting off a candle, uh, enter below the low, so plus above the high, and we go to risk 3 to 1. This would have been a break-even trade based on my methodology. I would exit half at one to one, which we reached, and the other half at three to one. Okay, so break even trade here. Now, it doesn't mean that we took a trade or we missed a trade that we just forget the pair. There might be more opportunities coming later, especially in the one hour chart. Okay, it happens and it comes back. So, the way it works is we had the same principle. Okay, break out the your band here also, but no uh, strong comeback within the band. Here, break out the bunch of band. Strong return inside with an engulfing candle. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit. Okay, this is engulfing. I entered below the low. The low is here, so give a pretty wide stop loss, but still, we want to risk of one to one for take profit and three to one. So, first take profit has been triggered. I think now, well, we actually came here, first take profit triggered. We came back in a loss, let the trade go, doesn't matter, and now it's coming back to profit. If it were to just pop and make a loss here, th that's fine, it's a break even trade and you don't lose any money, which is kind of good. But in that case, we wait and 3 to 1 is kind of here. This looks far based on this one hour chart, but if you go on, let's say, a daily chart, it, like, it's nothing because the range is all the way to 1.25. That's probably the nearest place price could go. Okay, so it kind of makes sense to hold the trade up to 3 to 1. On a weekly chart, and that's like, that's ridiculous, that's nothing. Okay, what I want you guys to pay attention to is kind of this range that we have on the one hour chart. Right now it's kind of between like, whether it's gonna go back up or come back down. And once we break this range here, it's kind of a support on the one hour chart, then it's probably gonna be more clear what direction price is gonna go to. And some people might add weight or might, might add positions to their trade. I won't do that, but that could be a good place, in my opinion, to do it if you were to add to your trade. Okay, once it breaks out, and you could have like a strategy with breakouts to potentially trade that. I'll, I'll link something below on how to trade breakouts. So that's it for the trade. Now, the other thing I want to show you guys, and this is like still forming okay so i'm not taking a trade here i just want to show you guys what might happen use the sjd uh use the singapore dollar price came back 
right here to a zone 1.34 a major support zone turning to a resistance right now and look at what's forming on the daily chart okay break outside the Bank Japan strong offing, well not yet but it's forming as an engulfing candle it's going to close at the end of the day and I'll probably have to wait till tomorrow morning here in Europe because it's messy with the time zone 5 p.m. Eastern time here is like 12 or something or later than that so yeah that's a that's a problem but anyway so this is forming I would enter below the low stop loss above the high reward to risk of 3 to 1 which let me put it in the chart in case I just to make sure I'll be remembering that one okay so I would enter below the low stop loss above the high at the close and reward to risk of 3 to 1 okay so that would be a good trade in my opinion as long as it's an engulfing candle which I don't know now, but we'll see when it closes. How that makes sense, so let's get back to a couple of days ago, my third day in Budapest. That's kind of a short clip, but I hope you guys are gonna like it. So let's rewind that a little bit. Good morning traders, welcome back to Budapest. Another sunny day, and of course, ready to explore around. Kind of interesting, you see Chinese food with uh, Hungarian menus. area here but the restaurants are very rare <laughs> I've seen maybe two or three open since I started walking so that, that's not a good sign it's kind of funny but yesterday I found out that the past three days that I was here in Budapest were the labor holiday so no work that's why most of the places I, I was going to were closed and most of the restaurants were closed and this morning the city is like booming everything is open it's lively there's a lot of traffic so I got to the point where I'll just pick the next one that's open and go eat. <laughs> that's, that's like the stage I'm at right now. Lunch was good. One thing I'm amazed is how many places are closed here. There's a bunch of restaurants that seem kind of like they've been abandoned for a long time and I think part of it is due to the fact that people who start business and the same thing goes with trading people who start business don't really have a clue what they do and they just go ahead they just expect they're gonna make a lot of money and they don't spend time to review every month how things are doing and today's the end of the month so I'm gonna go review my stuff see how I improved the past month just before there's a magnificent church in front of me that I want to go see that should be good for sure guys like this uh, all these videos recently have been kind of flipped so it's kind of me talking trading first then after the travel part if you like that format leave a comment below let me know I do want to know because I don't know which format you guys prefer and I'm gonna try to adapt based on what you like most of course comment below with your thoughts as always give a like if you enjoyed the video today and I'll catch you guys tomorrow ciao